we now welcome members of the San Francisco Interfaith Council to offer words of blessing for our interfaith commemoration of the 75th anniversary of the United Nations. To open, I welcome Michael Pappas, SFIC's Executive Director. Welcome, Michael. Thank you, Victor. There will be no peace among nations, wrote Swiss Catholic theologian Hans Kung, without peace among religions. And there will be no peace among religions without dialogue between religions. As the United Nations observes the 75th anniversary of its founding here in San Francisco, these words could not be more relevant or critical. In these times of pandemic and racial strife, the celebrated religions of the world are called to exercise their prophetic voice, manifested in good works, to bring hope, harmony, and love to our suffering world. For over 30 years, the San Francisco Interfaith Council, a cooperation circle of the United Religions Initiative, has sought to advance Hans Kung's admonition by bringing people of different faiths together to celebrate our rich and diverse spiritual and religious traditions, build understanding and serve our community. As our contribution to the United Nations historic 75th anniversary observance, we've invited leaders of diverse faiths to offer a blessing from their tradition that expresses their commitment to the well being of all humanity and of all living beings on the planet. The lit candle they each hold is symbolic of the light that dispels darkness and reveals truth. May our collective efforts to realize the vision for peace among religions continue to support the critical work of the United Nations to realize its vision for peace among nations. Greetings, brothers and sisters. My name is Hala Hijazi, and I'm your Muslim sister in faith. In the name of Allah, the all-knowing, the most generous and most merciful. Please praise be to the Lord of the universe who has created us and made us into tribes and into nations that we may know each other, not that we may despise one another. If the enemy incline towards peace, do thou also incline towards peace. And trust in God, for the Lord is one that hears and knows all things. And the servants of the most gracious God are those who walk on earth in humility. And we, when we address them, we say peace. All mankind is from Adam and Eve. An Arab has no superiority over a non-Arab, nor a non-Arab has any superiority over an Arab. Also, a white has no superiority over a black, nor a black has any superiority over a white, except by piety and good action. O oh Allah, place light in our hearts, light in our tongues, light in our hearing, light in our sight, light behind us, light in front of us, light to our right and light to our left, light above us and light below us. O oh Allah, make us a light. Let us respect, love, and elevate our God-ordained differences in one another and let's walk in humility. A blessed 75th anniversary to the United Nations. Thank you for advancing human and civil rights across the globe. Amin. My sisters and brothers, the peace of the Lord be with you all. I'm Father Greg Bonfilio and I'm Roman Catholic. We pray almighty God, you are to be encountered in every corner of your creation. Your love calls us to reverence the inherent dignity of all you have breathed into existence, most especially the human family created in your image and likeness. We ask you for the grace to see our connectedness and then to honor our common humanity in spite of political, social, religious, ethnic, or racial differences. We raise up to you in this time women and men institutions and movements which seek to tear down that which divides and then to connect us more deeply. We ask you to bless them and especially the institution of the United Nations, that its ideals continue to inspire hearts and actions across the globe and serve to bring about peace and justice in our time. 
We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Greetings. My name is Rabbi Serena Eisenberg, and I am a Bat Yisrael, a daughter of the Jewish people. Blessed are you, Adonai, source of blessing. You have created us in your image to share in your holy work, stewarding all of creation. You have given each generation the task of shaping the future with your covenant of peace. On this auspicious Shabbat, a Sabbath in an interlude of uncertainty and vulner vulnerability, we stand together 75 years after the plague of war brought untold sorrow to humanity. We pray for strength, justice, compassion, healing, and resolve to cherish and uphold your truth, avowed in the Charter of the United Nations, affirming the dignity and worth of every human being with faith in fundamental human rights for all. May destruction no longer devastate the earth. May discord no longer tear us asunder. May we see a day when, as the prophet Isaiah proclaimed, you shall judge between the nations and shall decide for many peoples, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. Beloved are you, sovereign of peace, who in love shelters all creation. Good afternoon. I'm Ron Kobata, a resident minister of the Buddhist Church of San Francisco, where I'm currently standing in our altar. Some 75 years ago, the mo after the most horrendous acts of human insanity, the Holocaust and Hiroshima Nagasaki bombings, the United Nations was established to prevent the reoccurrence of these events and realize a truly harmonious and productive world. Now, three generations later, we are still waiting and now see the consequences of the original ideals not being realized and the complications of environmental destruction COVID-19 pandemics, and the persisting societal injustices in, in, and in, in, inequities. As the 1970s folk song questions, when will we ever learn? To this, let us consider how I am a piece in the Buddha's golden puzzle of love and light that connects the world. I must keep my peace bright and strong. I will try to be kind and honest with all beings, including myself. I will try to think clear and helpful thoughts, to say clear and helpful words, and to do kind and helpful deeds, knowing that on what I do now depends not only my happiness or unhappiness, but also that of others. May every piece in the Buddha's golden puzzle of love and light become bright and strong, and may we all realize and become perfect peace, P-E-A-C-E, -E, personally experiencing awareness, connecting everything. Namo Amidabhus. I take refuge in the Buddha, the spirit of boundless wisdom and compassion, light and life. Namo Amidabhas. Namo Amidabhas. Namo Amidabhas. Greetings, brothers and sisters. My name is Father Mesro Bash, and I'm the parish priest at St. John Armenian Apostolic Church in San Francisco. It is an honor for me to join you in prayer on this auspicious occasion, the 75th anniversary of the United Nations. Let us pray. Almighty Lord, 
you have established the cosmos and ordered it according to your divine will, upholding all things through your merciful providence. Humankind, by your love, was given the immeasurable honor of knowing you through your revelation. With humility, we call upon your holy name, O God, to hear our prayers of thanksgiving as we gather together during a time of tribulation to give thanks on the occasion of the 75th anniversary of the United Nations. Look upon us with your glorified countenance and guide our hearts and minds as we endeavor to lift up to the lofty and sacred mission of the United Nations to bring peace and security to all peoples, a mission that was born here in San Francisco. We give thanks for the lives of all who served before and all of those who serve today throughout the world under the banner of the United Nations to strive for a brighter future where all peoples are respected and are able to exercise their God-given rights. We call upon your name, which is love, to break apart the stony hearts of humanity that prevent unity and foster discord. Nourish the innate compassion which you have planted in the garden of our souls that will break the chains of hatred, racism, discrimination, and pride, thereby allowing us to take up the blessed mantle of being your stewards of goodness and truth in this life. Remember also, O Lord, the impoverished and those who are held in captivity, all of those afflicted by war and conflict and those who have been uprooted in their homelands and have been rendered refugees. Protect them and bestow upon them the freedom to live the life which is full of human dignity. We proclaim proudly that you are with us, for you are the Prince of Peace, Father of the ages to come, and to you we give glory. Amen. Greetings. My name is Hoshi, and I am Hindu. Thousands of years ago, the divine incarnation, Lord Rama, asked his faithful friend Hanuman, Hanuman, how do you really view me? Hanuman, who himself would later become a god through his devoted service to Lord Rama, replied, My Lord, sometimes I think you are the whole and I am a piece. Sometimes I think you are the master and I am a servant. But when I contemplate the absolute reality, I realize that you are I, and I am you. Let us be united. Let us speak in harmony. Let our minds apprehend alike. Common be our prayer. Common be the end of our assembly. Common be our resolution. Common be our deliberations. Alike be our feelings. Unified be our hearts, common be our intentions, perfect be our unity. I do not desire earthly kingdoms. I desire only the deliverance from grief of all those afflicted by misery. O oh Lord, lead us from the unreal to the real. Lead us from darkness to light. Lead us from death to immortality. Manifest thyself in and through us and protect us evermore with thy kind and auspicious presence. May we hear through our ears what is good and spiritual. May we see through eyes what is noble and uplifting. May we go beyond darkness and illusion and realize the truth in this very life. Oh, peace, peace, peace. Peace be unto us. Peace be unto all sentient beings. Arion, 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 I'm Rita Semmel. I had the honor to be in the Opera House when the signing of the United Nations Charter happened. I was also the first chair of the Global Council of United Religions Initiative. It is my pleasure to offer this prayer. Lord, make me an instrument of thy peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow charity. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is error, truth. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. 
and where there is sadness, joy. O oh, Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying to ourselves that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Rita, thank you. We are connected to that moment, that historic moment through you, and that moment of inbreaking of possibilities for peace has lived on in you and your work in the community and the way in which you touch all of our lives. So thank you. And thank you all for your work in your communities, for offering your blessings today, and for filling us with hope in the midst of this world, in this world's struggles, and this extraordinary moment of celebration of the United Nations. Thank you all. May peace prevail on earth. Amen. Amen.